Let's talk about confusing phrases. Basically, when I say that, confusing phrases, they're things that I assume people understand when we talk because we use these phrases in ways that are generally meant for one thing, but really we're not using the right phrases. And I'll give you a, a couple of examples. Um, so one of them is data. Um, people go, you know, I've talked to people and they, they're confused on when they're using data on their phone. Okay, data, data is just information. You know, you have data on your phone. But when we talk about data, we're talking about data transfer, but not just data transfer. You know, um, we use data, when we say data, usually we mean cellular data. On my phone, are you using Wi-Fi or data? Well, either way, whether I'm using Wi-Fi or I'm using cellular signal, I'm using data, I'm transferring data, I'm transferring information. But in general, when we talk about this, uh, we, when we say data and we're referring to our cell phone, we're talking about using data, using the cellular signal on your phone. And I can see how this can be confusing, uh, but then at the same time, I don't understand how it can be confusing because this is something we do every day and you would think by now people would just know. But yes, if I am downloading something to my phone and I'm, it's, it's using data, whether I'm using Wi-Fi or cellular or, you know, even if I'm using a USB cable or if I have some network plug plugged into my phone, I'm transferring data. That is always data. But when we say data in just regular conversation, we're talking about our phones and someone says, oh, we're using Wi-Fi or data, I can see how that can be confusing. But when they say data, they mean you're using the cellular signal. Um, so, there, again, there's little antennas in your phone um, and one's Wi-Fi and one is is cellular. A lot of people are confused on what Wi-Fi is. Wi-Fi is just the wireless, your local network. The Wi-Fi, that's another thing. Wi-Fi is not internet. Internet is the thing you connect to through your ISP. That's your internet service provider, Comcast or, or whoever. Wi-Fi is just what the signal being sent out that connects your device to other devices in the building you're in. And from there, it might connect to a router and go out to the internet. Wi-Fi is not internet. You can have Wi-Fi and no internet. And why would you do that? To communicate with other devices on your network. Uh, something I do all the time. I transfer files back and forth from my desktop to my phone or to my laptop and my phone to my laptop and my desktop or to the server I have running in the other room. A lot of people go, oh, I don't do any of that. Well, you might if you use something like a Chromecast or something like that. And I don't have a Chromecast or uh, Amazon Fire Stick um, and those do go out to the internet for doing certain things, but you should be able to stream stuff directly from one device to another uh, on your local network. And your local network, the wireless part of that, in 99% of cases, is going to be Wi-Fi. So I can see how that can be confusing. Also, people get confused uh, when we talk about downloading. Downloading is the process of getting something to your phone. It's different than saving something to your device. Streaming what streaming is, whether you're watching a video or listening to audio and you're streaming it, that just means you're using it as it's being downloaded. You're downloading a video and you're watching it while it's being downloaded. You're listening to the music as it's being downloaded. It was just a power surge in my house. You're either watching a video as it's downloading or you're listening to audio. You're still downloading it. A lot of people think, oh, if I'm streaming it, I'm not downloading it. No, that's not true. Either way, you're downloading it. You're retrieving that information from another device, either on your local network or the internet. You are downloading it. You may not be saving it to your device. And that's why a lot of people get confused. They say, oh, I've downloaded it to my device. Well, no, you saved it for offline usage. Just because you download it doesn't mean it's saved to your device. That's another thing. People look at my phone. I'll send someone a, a link to a picture or something like that or a video. And I've literally been asked by people, is this on my device? Well, yes. Yes, it's on your device. You're looking at it right now. Is it saved to your device for offline usage? Maybe not. You might be looking at it and it might be in RAM, which is a type of memory that isn't permanent. It's going to be wiped out. It's just there for while you're using it. Um, is it saved to your device? Maybe it's saved temporarily to a temp, temp file. But if you're looking at it, if you see a picture or you're listening to a sound from your device, well, it's on your device. It is. It just may not be stored there permanently 
uh, when I say permanently, I mean until you erase it. It's not stored to your storage in a lot of cases. Uh, and that's the difference. But don't ask me, is this on my device? Yes, it is. I can, if I can see it on your phone, it's on your device. That's just common sense, you would think. But it confuses people that if they're viewing something on a web page. Um, I want to give another example. Um, text messages. Text messages. That's very, very vague. Because any message that is text, whether it's a chat, could, email could even be considered a text message. The term text message means it's a message that is text. But normally when we talk about text message, we're talking about one of two things. We're talking about SMS message, which is sort message service, I believe, or MMS, which is multimedia service. Multimedia service, I think. Anyway. A true, what we are talking about when we say text message is probably we're usually talking about SMS, which is just you're sending text from one device to another, usually phones, pagers. Um, but that's what, when we talk about text messages, that's what you're talking about. And then we also cross over to MMS. When you're using your, your texting application on your phone, it uh, is also probably capable of doing MMS, which is multimedia, which is if you're sending a text that has a picture or a video, or sometimes audio files. Anything that's not just text, that's a multimedia message. And that's, that's a technology that's been around for over 20 years. It is very, very limited, but we try to make it do a lot more than it can. It was supposed to add features to what regular text messages didn't. And I love and hate it at the same time. I hate it because it is so limited, but companies try to integrate these features that it can't do, and so then, uh, you know, a lot of people go, oh, you try to send me this picture or this on that on a text. And it's, oh, because you have an iPhone and I have an Android device. No, it's none of that. It doesn't have to do with you having an Android device or me having whatever. It's just that depending on what application, and you can use lots of different messaging applications, they have different functionality and they use these MMS messages in different ways. And another thing of that is traditional SMS text messages can't do group messages. So if you're using a device or uh, an application that can only do SMS, um, it's going to, or even if it can support MMS, sometimes your settings might be set to fake multi-media uh, messages, uh, group messages with SMS. And basically, you send a text to a group and it's going to send them each as individual messages to people. And then they might reply and not everyone gets it. And that's why when you're in group messages, sometimes people reply and you miss a message. One of those reasons is, because people have different settings on their phones and their applications are going to use it different. And it's not that you have a different phone than I do. We both can have the same exact phone, but we're using uh, different applications that's going to handle those things differently. Uh, and multimedia messages, the MMS messages, have features to do group messages, but it's kind of iffy. And that's why I try to avoid group messages as much as possible, but a lot of people do. And then they're always complaining, that, oh, so-and-so didn't get a message. Oh, so-and-so is sending a message. Now I'm getting two or three copies of every message they're sending. And it's because you're trying to relay these messages through different devices and it's just, it's a mess. Um, so even though the MMS messages, um, the multimedia services, the MMS text messages added functionality, it also added a lot of confusion um, and annoyances. So it's just one of those things you have to live with because the only other option is using a text message that is a chat application. And then there's companies, a lot of texting applications nowadays have um, chat functionality, which is different than SMS, different than MMS. It's using their server servers, and this is where it does become different. Where if you're using Apple's Messenger, you're going to be using it will integrate it with Apple servers to add functionality for other people who are using Apple servers. And uh, but if you're not on that, then you lose that functionality, and it can cause confusion. And, but it's not just Apple; that's the same with Google. Google has services like that, like. Uh, the Google Hangouts does chats, and if you're using certain services, Google services, you can still do. A lot of people go, oh, you can't send text messages through uh, Hangouts. You can if you're using Google Fi or Google Voice. You can still do that, and then you have Google Voice. And, but you have all these things, and they try to add, because, again, text messages have been around for 30 years. They are very, very limited. And I'm kind of getting off my topic of, of um, confusing phrases, but still, I, I'm trying to explain how... We use this term text message, but we're integrating all these things into it. And yes, text message is a very broad range, but everyone thinks it's this, but it's not. It's, it's, it can be all of this. And to be more specific, you can say SMS message or MMS message or chat. 
Um, and uh, but that confuses people in many because you can do a video chat. You know, you, you can do an audio chat. I mean, that's basically what a phone call is: is an audio chat, right? And so, using the term text message makes it easier in conversation to say what you need to say. But then it confuses people when something doesn't make sense to them. You're like, well. We're saying text message, and I mean SMS message. And like, well, what's that? And I was like, well, see if it's text, it's this. If it has a picture, it's that. But if you're connected to the internet and you're using this application, now it's using a chat. But it doesn't. And some some programs, some companies, they they don't even they make it very hard for you to realize the difference. Um, for example, a buddy of mine just switched from an iPhone over to an Android device, and um, he sent someone a text. The person replied to them, but he didn't get the text on his new phone. It went to his old iPhone, which isn't active anymore. And it's because Apple was trying to integrate, and it he sent it as an SMS message to this guy from his new phone. Apple went, oh, well, he has an Apple device. When you reply, we're going to send it over there. And I've known a number of people who do this. They, they don't get all these messages. They, they get rid of their old iPhone. Sometimes they go to a new iPhone, and I don't know if they just switched accounts or something, but they don't get messages. I, 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 uh, I have a, a family member who uh, were, wasn't, weren't getting messages for like six months, and they said, oh, my phone doesn't have that feature, was the response. And it was Apple was, and again, lots of companies do this, but I'm using Apple as an example here because they're very, very bad about it. They try to think for you. They try to go, oh, we know what's best for you, so we're going to assume that you want this, and they're trying to send um, all the stuff to a device that is inactive. And really, that stuff shouldn't be linked to a device. It should be linked to an account, but blah, blah, blah. But we need to be clearer, clearer when we talk about uh, different things. So again, those are just a few examples. Text message, data, a download. We use these terms improperly all the time. And that's why it can be confusing. Um, but it just makes conversation easier in most conversations, but then when you start to get technical, it gets confusing. So I'm sure if I sat here, I could think of a lot more. If you can think of some, put them in the comments below where we use these general terms for things and we're kind of using them improperly. Um, and for the most part, it makes conversations easier, but when you start getting technical, it makes things uh, confusing. So anyway, thanks for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.